I will show you how to do percentage increase using a calculator. Now I'll show you a number of questions and then it will start making sense to you. Let's suppose I want to increase uh, 50 pounds or 50 by 3%. I want to increase 50 pounds by 3%. Don't just do 50 at 3. What you do on the calculator is 50 times 1.03 and then put that in the calculator. If you want to do, let's say, increase increase 200 by 4%, I would do 200 times that 4%, increasing 4% would be 1.04. If it was 14%, increase 200 pounds, 200 by 14%, It'll be 1.14. So hopefully you can see where these numbers are coming from. If I was going to increase, say, 300 by 99%, that would be 300 times 1.99. So if I did all that in the calculator, all of these, I might want to increase, say, 200 by 23.5%. Then what? Well, I do 200 times 1.23. But times it by 1.23 is only 23%. But I've got an extra 5 there, 0 0.5. So I'll do that then. So to increase it by 23.5%, it's 1.235, 235, 235. Careful now, if these were money, if all of these were money, then you'd make sure that the answer, the final answer, uh, if it's a decimal, that it rounds to two decimal places. Now, percentage decrease using a calculator. Now, before I start that, I, I need you to understand something. I want you to understand number bonds. Right. Let's suppose uh, we had 99. 99 add something to give me 100. Well, 99 add 1 gives me 100. What if I had uh, 97 plus something to give me 100? That would be a 3. If I had, uh, let's say, 15 add something to make me a hundred That would be an 85 Right these are my number bonds for a hundred now use similar kind of number bonds like so uh, 0 0.99 add something to give me one hole uh, That's going to be 0 0.01 9 okay, so 99 0 0.99 plus something to give me one one hole uh, sorry, 98, that'd be 0 0.98, add something to me, 1, be 0 0.02. Think of this like money. If you, if you want to think of this like money, you can do so. Uh, imagine that's 99p and that's one pound. Well, 99p add 1p makes one pound. 98p plus 2p makes one pound. Similarly, if I had uh, 0 0.1, one five add something to give me one pound that would be 0 0.85 so these are my number bonds now let's do the percentage decrease using a calculator after you've seen a couple of questions you'll see the pattern i want to decrease say 200 by one percent so that 200 so don't just do 200 take away one. This is what you do on the calculator. 200 multiplied by, not 1.01, 1.01, 1 
don't do 1.01 because if you did that it'd be like one of these questions that would be 200 that if you did that calculation you'd be increasing 200 by 1% you'd be increasing it but I want to decrease it so don't do that uh, look at the number bond for this so you know 1% if you knock off 1% from 100% you get 0 0.99 as a decimal right you're probably thinking well how's that 99 add 1 makes 100 the 99 and the 1 makes 100 from the number bonds let's try this one then 200 decrease decrease 200 by 5% you'll be doing 200 times 0 0.95 think of this like a number bond 95 and the 5 makes the 100 let's say you want to decrease 200 by 40% so do 200 times 0 0.60. You don't need the zero there, but I'm just making it easy for you to see this. Because you know 60 and the 40 makes 100 on the number bond. So do this on the cap, do all of these on the calculator then. That one there, 200. just do 200 times 0 0.6 don't need to have the zero so when you decrease 200 200 by 1 percent it becomes 198 and so on so if you decrease 200 by 40 percent don't just do 200 take away 40 work it out 200 decrease 200 by 40 percent land you on 120 so the real life question would be, uh, for example, let's say you've got 200 pounds and it decreases by 40%, you'll end up with 120 pounds.